I'm with one of my all-time favorites. It's Tina Conyot and her lovely horse, Collector. Tina, how are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. So tell us now about Collector. What has happened since last year you were here? Well, wonderful time last year, as always, to be part of the World Dressage Masters and having the international riders here in the venue of Palm Beach. And we had a great show last year, and I'm hoping to step up to the next level. I think um, last year we had a grand show, and we're looking at a very difficult competition for an Olympic year, a lot of great horse and rider combinations out there. And I believe that Collecto has more in him. I just need to find the right buttons to, to bring it out in him. So God willing, we're on the right track for that. <laughs> what <are you> doing? <laughs> so what has happened since last year? How, how have you prepared and practiced? Well, just recently we started to, um, unfortunately I didn't, was not able to go to Europe this year. I had some problems with my blood work on my horse and uh, he was bitten by a tick. So we had some problems with that, which gave him a little bit of time off and then we, did one competition in um, August and then September was our national championships which we were uh, second to Stefan Peters which was very very nice also and I haven't done anything since then except last weekend I did an open competition and um, just a little bit of a warm-up he wants to join us <laughs> for th for this competition here so the training at home is uh, now gradually building up a little bit more more pressure and, and more stress on, on everyone, I believe. So that's what we're looking at. And I feel that he's in a very good place right now. I hope I can show that in the show arena. It's always easy to say in the warm up, but once you're in the arena, it's where it needs to be. So I let him go in the arena just to take a roll. So it's a he's really dirty. <laughs> he's very dirty, actually. But I just let him. I've just finished riding him, and he loves to roll and have his turnout time. So I took him in there just to let him have a little. He plops down and rolls around. And unfortunately, he scared one of my lovely friends, Ashley Holzer. So I'm very upset about that. <laughs> Ashley, sorry for that. <laughs> I hope you forgive me, Ashley. <laughs> Frau Strasse said, is that how you get rid of your competitor? Your, your <laughs> anyway. And, and how did you feel like on the warm-up? I had a great ride today. I had a super, super, and Ann Gribbins, our coach, she was very, very pleased with him. Uh, she hasn't had a chance to work with him very much at all, so I'm pretty much on my own. And... Collector, do you also want to say something? He's a pig sweet <laughs> So she was very pleased with him, and she feels that, you know, he's in the absolutely, absolutely in the right direction. Mm. Always when I interview you, you say that you love your horse. So on a scale, how much do you love your horse? I don't, there isn't a scale for him. I mean, I would die for him. I'm sure that I would, you know, jump in front of the, the oncoming car to save him. So. He knows it. <laughs> sure he does. So good luck to you. Thank you so much. All the best. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you.